he's gonna come back I don't think he's gonna do it you know we're so used to seeing guys retire after well we know Joe Kawasaki retire at, at the top we're so used to seeing guys retire like when they're washed up you know or after a bad loss or something like that you know for him especially lately he's been busy busy he's been extra busy Carl Frotch He's been busy on social media lately, you know, with the whole Triple G thing, into uh, entertaining the whole James and Gale fight. And I just don't think, I don't believe him, you know? I think this is a temporary thing. I think somebody's going to do enough that it's going gonna, it's gonna to ignite that, that spark for him to want to come back. I just don't think right now think right now he wants to retire. Um, I, I don't think he ever really wanted to fight Triple G. All right, because in the beginning, you know, I've I seen what he said. I'm not saying he's scared of him, but uh, there might be a little fear in there. Um, I think he would do it if the money was right. Let me say that. Um, it got to be worth something to him because we all know that he's, He's wanted to fight in Vegas. He wanted the Chavez Jr. fight. I think if something happens, whether it's the Gale, whether it's Ch Triple G, whether it's Chavez again, you know, I think something needs to happen for him to really be motivated to come back. You know, it got to really mean something for him. But I, I don't think he's done. Carl Frotch, what can I say? Great career. First time I seen him fight was when he fought Jermaine Taylor. Um, I believe Taylor was coming off of the losses to Kelly Pavlik. First time I seen Carl Frotch, I believe it was on Showtime back then. Just watching a regular Jermaine Taylor fight. I don't know how long ago. It seems like it was so long ago when I saw that fight. I was watching a fight. Jermaine Taylor dropped him. You know, I didn't really know Carl Frotch. I never seen him like that. And then Carl Frotch stops him late. And then the Super 6 tournament, you know, we've seen the fight with him and Ward, Abraham, Darrell. Uh, you know, he eventually he loses to Kessler. Um, Super 6 tournament was great. I mean, it seems like, you know, for Andre Ward to be one of my favorite fighters, it seems like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for Ward to get back that glory. Like, after he won that tournament, he was on top of the world, I felt. And then after that, it just seems like, you know, fight here and there. But with the injuries and everything with his promotions. But anyway, this is about Carl Frotch. Um, I didn't think he won the Darrell fight. You know, I didn't really think he won that fight. I think he should have won the Kessler fight. Um, I think that was his fault. You know, it was funny because he was chasing Joe Calzaghe for so long. And... You know, for you to lose to the guy that beat Kessler, you know. But he had a tremendous career. I mean, he was the first to beat John Pascal. <clears throat> Excuse me. He beat a lot of guys, and he he beat Lucien Boutte. And I'm glad he beat Lucien Boutte because I always thought Boutte was overrated. Um, you know, he beat him. I believe Boutte was undefeated at the time. Knocked him out. Boutte didn't have nothing for him. I think, was it five rounds? Great career, though, man. I mean, I, I don't know where he goes down in the list of, like, the greatest of British fighters. You know? I don't know where he goes down in that list. But, um... Uh, and I don't think he would have beaten Joe Kawasaki. But he's definitely up there, you know? He's up there around that area, you know, when you're talking Hatton and Joe Calzaghe and um, Nassim, Nassim and, and all those guys, recent guys. I'm talking about like recent guys. 
But he's definitely, he's up there, you know. But I, I don't think he's done, man. I, I think he might do, like, a good, I think about a good another eight months. Like, I think early in 2016, we'll be talking about a part a potential fight between him and whoever's doing their thing at the moment. Like, you know, if the Gale gets in there with Ward and uh, somebody wins, like, a big fight, you know, then they'll start talking, like, maybe Carl Frost should come back and fight him. And I think he'll do it. I don't know. Something, I don't believe him. Just don't. You know? It's like he's been wanting to retire. I'm sure he's been pondering retirement, like, this this year. Because George Groves, the, the second fight was a great way to go out. He's been pondering going, like, retirement, but there's something about him, like, you know, he's so inconsistent. Like, one day he's chilling, he's sitting back, he's quiet, and the next day he's on tweeting. He's on Twitter tweeting about who he can be, you know, how he's too big for Triple G or whatever. And uh, that was the last video I did on him, you know, because I wasn't mad at all that uh, Triple G was willing to go up and fight Carl Frotch. I thought it was a great fight. I wanted to see that fight. I wanted to see, I mean, look, we, we can't compare anyone that Triple G has for um, compared to Carl Frotch. You can't compare anybody at 160 to Carl Frotch. No one, not, not one person there. So I love the fight. I love the fight. I wish it happened. I wish it, I wish it still happened, you know. It could still happen. I'm not mad at it. But um, I don't know. I don't think he's done, man. I don't think he's done. I, th I still think he wants to do a little bit more. And as far as Wembley is concerned, it would have to be a big fight, you know, for them to make all that money. And to see the, the, the build up to George Groves, too, really sold the seats in that stadium. You know, it wasn't the first fight. It was the second fight because the first fight was so controversial. And he went out great, man. That fight was amazing. You know, they actually showed, they actually televised the first fight here. They actually televised it. And it was a big deal. You know, I mean, me and my, my, my girl was watching, at the girl at the time was watching it here. And she was even here screaming and jumping in excitement. You know, Frost got knocked out. The back and forth was great. And then going in the rematch and knock him out, just straight knock him out. Great way to go out. But I still don't believe him. I don't believe him. But Carl Frotch, great fighter, you know, I'm a, I'm a personal fan of him, you know, I like him, um, you know, I've I never really been a, a big, a huge Calzaghe fan because I'm a little biased, you know, I felt like he fought Roy when he was past his prime, even that Hopkins, even though Hopkins is still boxing, but we see now how relevant he still is today, even at 50, but at the time, I felt like he was fighting an older version of Hopkins, you know. But no, nah, I mean, you know, Kazaki did his thing, but you know, I, I, I always like, I like Carl Frost. He's like, he's one of my favorite, personal favorite, British fighters. He's definitely one of one of my favorite. You know, I never really been a Hatton fan. I never was really a Kazaki fan, but I always like Carl Frost. But um, I don't think he's, I think he's coming back. I don't believe him. All right, peace.